Osteoporosis is a silent condition uh, characterized by reduced bone mass and it leads to uh, increased susceptibility for fracture, uh, mainly fragility fractures and other fractures, uh, but fragility fractures being um, those that occur with a fall from a standing height or below. Uh, it's estimated that a third of Caucasian women who are the uh, group most likely to get osteoporosis uh, have osteoporosis or reduced bone mass uh, by age 60 and two-thirds of those women over age 80 have osteoporosis. Women are at greater risk than men uh, and specifically women who are postmenopausal, who have gone through menopause, are at greatest risk. There are certain races who are at greater risk, so Caucasian um, people and Asian people are both at greater risk than other races. And then there are other health conditions that can also put people at greater risk. Any condition that results in a low estrogen state, so similar to being postmenopausal, increases your risk. Uh, anorexia nervosa is uh, one condition that can lead to a low estrogen state. There are some pituitary gland disorders that can also cause low estrogen and some chemotherapies. Other risk factors are people who have a family history of osteoporosis, especially a parent who has broken a hip. Uh, certain lifestyle uh, choices including uh, smoking tobacco and excess alcohol intake, which would be greater than three units of alcohol a day, increase your risk. Uh, a low uh, calcium or vitamin D consumption over a patient's lifetime can increase the risk of osteoporosis. And then um, finally some endocrine and rheumatologic disorders such as uh, type 1 diabetes, hyperthyroidism, hyperparathyroidism, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, some spondyloarthropathies which are rheumatologic conditions.